Hey there everybody, and welcome back to the Lore of Pandaria. This one will be covering the Zandalari Prophecy, which was the last one added in 5.2. If you miss Gods and Monsters, or the Rumbling Thunder, you can click the links in the screen right now to go ahead and check those out. But the first part of the Zandalari Prophecy is Coming of Age, which is located at Zatuo 35.3, 70.2. The second part for Council and King is located at Storm Sea Landing at 67.6, 44.8. Now you see me standing in open ocean right now, but it is actually located a little bit above me because there's usually a boat here and this is recorded on the PTR, so that kind of bugs and you cannot get on that boat unless it's in this docking as of as far as I've seen. The third part, Shadows of the Loa, is located also in Zatul, very close to the first one, at 36.3, 70.2. The last part, the Dark Prophet Zul, is located in the Beast Pens, 52.8, 41.5. It is said the god king Rastakan, ruler of the Zandalari, lords over his mighty kingdom from a throne carved of solid gold. Years ago, as he sat upon this opulent seat of power, he was visited by the dark prophet Zul. Zul warned King Rastakan of a terrible cataclysm, for Zul had seen a vision of the great armored dragon clenching the world in his ferocious jaws. King Rastakan did nothing. Months later, Zul returned, bearing more grim news from his visions. He saw a legion of serpents pouring forth from a gaping fissure that tore open the floor of the ocean. Still, King Rastakan did nothing. Finally, mere months before the cataclysm, Zul returned, tearing his clothes and throwing his staff to the ground. Zul spoke of earthquakes and tidal waves. He described the golden capital of Zandalar, slowly sinking beneath the waves in the aftermath of the cataclysm, its once great people drowning as their mighty work slipped forever beneath the sea. King Rastakan tired of Zul and his troubling nightmares. To be rid of the prophet, he granted Zul the use of his largest ships so that he and his followers could seek a new land if his visions came to pass. And his visions did come to pass. When Deathwing rose from the maelstrom, Dark, angry waves crashed into the Zandalari capital. The spine of the land broke in two, and soon the city and all its riches began to slide into the hungry sea. The Zandalari people turned to their king for help, but there was only one Zandalari equipped to help them. The Prophet Zul. The Prophet and the mighty war fleet he had assembled while his king sat idle. You see, the true power of kings and emperors stems from the power to aid their people. The moment they fail, they cede their power to the one who can. 